Eduardo, can I call you Eduardo? Of course, John. What made you think that there should be a great war? <laughs> it's the third time I'm trying to tell you. I was just writing fiction books. It had nothing to do with the actual situation. I mean, <laughs> who could really know that the nuclear weapons will become useless and the dying countries will start the greatest and the most senseless war in history? <laughs> I mean, it sounds logical, but nobody could expect it. And I'm not a prophet. I, I was just writing fiction books. You just said you're not a prophet and nobody expected it, really. So how do you find it logical? Globalization, John. Mm -hmm. You know, soon all the countries will be united and there will be no independence of nations, no patriotism and no other issues connected with the existence of nation states. Uh, what we see around us can be called the agony of the previous epoch. It's a, you know, it's a usual reaction towards changes. Maybe you are right, but what if the Western alliance, they will come and they will kill us, these barbarians, they want our resources, women and children. John, we are no more living in the 21st century and the old-fashioned slogans have no more sense. I mean, the Eastern countries are just the same as the Western countries. And they just want to be on top and as they still have some notion of national interest, they have to fight to be on top. And I'm not a politician. If you want, you can ask me about my book. But do you have any other books published, actually? Have you anything else written? Uh, because, let me look. Uh, the Wiki Brain Network knows nothing about it. Well, I haven't finished them yet, but I have some ideas. Um, but probably, you know, I would better go to my wife, she's waiting for me. It was a pleasure to be invited to your program, John. You are always welcome to tell me and the audience about uh, your new books and when you write something new, because everyone wants to hear what a prophet says. That was uh, writer Eduardo Schmidt uh, in a program about modern literature with me, John Ivanov. Thank you, John. <coughs> oh, my cute Francesco, how are you? These interviews will kill me faster than you love. What do we have for supper? As always. Oh, if it is as always, I like it. And if you mean that you have cooked, as always, I adore it. But could you just remind me, what do we usually have for supper? I mean, in usually a great diversity of meals, but... Food? Oh, okay, I feel that anyway it will be something adorable. It won't. Um, I... Uh, I... What's wrong with you? You are calm and don't speak much. I'm okay. Uh, I just forgot to buy anything tastier. I felt like... Food shortage? That fast? When I looked at the map in the morning, the Eastern Front was 500 kilometers away and the guy who interviewed me at the radio, he said that in the nearest future everything will calm down because nobody wants to fight without ideology and now we have a food shortage? Not really. <laughs> Then, I, what's happening with you? Uh, Mrs. Chen, I am tired. You can always call me and I can do my best in finding the food resources. I should make a statement. Oh, sounds very serious, but can you do it after I get us something to bite? I'll be fast, so no, just no, wait. No, you don't have to stop. Uh, I think that we should never part for some time. What? It's... Uh, that's easier. You should take it easier. It's a common thing. Oh, common thing. <laughs> yeah, I've always said that you're a bad but funny actually. Let me kiss no, no, I don't want you to kiss me. I'm serious. Something, something changed. So that's serious that now even a single kiss has some great impact on everything that you restricted? Okay, let's do it this way. I'll go and find some food and you can prepare your lips and everything you want for my return, okay? I'm serious. I know I should think about you, Bart, but it don't feel like I want to stay with you. You're a wonderful man, and, and I know you like some Chinese girls more than soon some real Chinese, they will come and you will be happier, and everything will be the same as with me, Bart.
guys without me. Nice. My friend Princess was now unending on Chinese roots. Tell me what I did wrong and I'll kill the stupid guy who did it. Still, I love you. You are great. I felt like you were joking. No, I wasn't. No. Dirty. My love. My love is different now. And it disappears. How can love disappear? It's either present or not. Uh, it's a question I should think about. Just, just once I felt that I don't like I don't like anything in you and this idea started to grow and uh... Just tell me the truth, are you killing the love that is still there? <laughs> what are you doing? I love you, my dear with strange ideas. Maybe we should just go to sleep and in the morning the sun will come from the east and... The sun will never come. Do you understand that you just make everything worse saying such terrible things? I, I love you, you are part of my life, you are part of my soul. <laughs> and I'm sure it will, will not be an exaggeration to say that it's the same vice versa. I mean, we were isolated, but now we are we're together, we are united, we, we are a power. I know that. You are right. <laughs> do you still want to eat something? <laughs> yes, I don't. So, you see, I do only bad things to you. Five minutes ago you said that you should leave because you feel something. God, what's happening with you? I don't know. I don't know. I just want to eat, go and uh, buy something. Okay, I will. You are a prophet for everyone in this world. But you wrote your book that is now our reality. Still, you have failed to predict your own life. I'm not a prophet. I just want to be with you. And you want to be with me, so it's not difficult to predict the outcome. And who will prove that I failed? She left our home seconds after my bike disappeared behind the horizon in search of supermarkets with food that no one of us will ever eat together. What a story. I think I felt like our audience became quiet and nervous and everyone wants to know what's in the ending. I don't think it will affect the sales if you say it now. You know, John, I hope that everything will be okay because I'm not a prophet and I didn't find any better idea in my head than this childish one. What? You mean it's all about you? <sighs> Francesca, I came to this radio station to, to say that I, I love you. I, I knew that you wanted to leave me, so I, maybe it's not the smartest thing, but please find me. Oh, sorry, we have to interrupt. I'll be on the place we met tomorrow. Uh, Sorry, uh, we have important news from the Moon University because they have managed to build a hydrogen bomb that is capable of exploding in the new era. So it will be tested in a randomly chosen eastern city in 10, 9, you see we will have a hope to win. <laughs> now we don't have any hope. Something is missing. And now it's back, but useless. 